When adding script to a form, you need to reference the objects that are contained within it. Looking at this simple example here, we have a numeric field called price, and this is contained within a subform. Outside of that, we have a button, and we want to use this button to set the value of the price object at runtime. To do this, we select the button, and we go up to the script editor, and you can see that we've set this up where we're scripting in the click event, and we're using JavaScript as our language. I want to show you two ways in which you can reference the price object. And the first way is where we're going to type in the relative reference. Because the button that we're scripting in and the price object that we want to reference are separated by a subform, we need to include the name of that subform in our relative reference. Then as I continue to type, you'll see that Lifecycle opens up a dialogue and offers statement completion. This is where Lifecycle looks within the price details subform and lists out all of the child objects that are contained within it. So we can see our price object and to select it, we just press return or enter. And then we can continue uh, completing our script. Now at runtime, when the user clicks this button, it will set the value of the price field to 10. Now using typed relative references makes it very easy to add script to your form, uh, particularly because of the statement completion feature and where you use a consistent naming convention. There is an easier way to add a reference to an object, and this is stated here beneath the script editor. So if we delete this script and start from scratch, by holding the control key down as I click the object, you'll notice two things. First, the mouse has changed into a V to show that we're in this mode. And secondly, that Lifecycle has inserted into our script as full a reference as is required for the price objects, which includes the name, of the subform price details and it includes the name of the object price and we can continue with our script and again this will set the value of the price object to 10 when the user clicks the button. Now using control and click method uh, makes it very easy to script against objects and one advantage is that the relative reference is going to be correct. You're eliminating the potential for mistyping a reference. The second advantage is that Lifecycle will look at the relative path to the object you're trying to reference and if there's an issue with the naming convention or where you've got unnamed objects, Lifecycle will correct and take this into account. And it does this by resolving the nodes. So if we um, look at an example, maybe in a form development where you hadn't named the subform, when we now want to reference the uh, price object, we press the control key and click on the price object, and you'll see that Lifecycle has resolved the node. This will work, but it's not best practice. There's a performance hit in resolving the node so that Lifecycle can reference the object itself. Um, so you want to try and avoid this if possible. So if you revert back and we name our subform, and we correct our script, when we now click and control and click the object, it inserts a relative reference, our code is cleaner, It'll run uh, with less of a performance hit, and it'll work. So please download the sum expression example, uh, as this goes into how to construct relative references in much greater detail. Thank you.